What's up everybody, Dave here with a brand new video, and I haven't done a hacking video in a while or a gaming thing that's outside of like 1320 or some rants or something like that. Recently, YouTube added playables. What are playables? Playables are games built into YouTube. These work on mobile, these work on PC. All you have to do is just scroll down to the explore section on the left hand side and click playables. YouTube has games. I want to teach you how to hack these games because it's really simple. I'm using Firefox. It should be the same in Chrome. It's not as easy as it used to be as far as uh, figuring out which process you need to click to you know, search scores and things like that. I kind of just do it blindly, but you are going to need Cheat Engine. So let's get right into it. One of the easiest games to at least, you know, learn the process on, I think, is probably the basketball game. Either basketball or actually maybe even the Bejeweled. Let's go with the Bejeweled. Where is it? Uh, Bejeweled. It's called Jewel's Planet. So, you're going to want your cheat engine open. You're going to click play. You're going to click play. And you can see we have 20 moves. Now, like I said... I kind of just hunt and peck for the process because that seems to be the easiest way to do it. So when you open up Cheat Engine, you want to go Processes, and you want to start just with the bottom Firefox. And you will know very quickly if you are on the right process. So we're going to search 20 because that's how many moves I have. 635. So now we just make a move. Now I have 19. So we search 19. No values. We go on to the next process. And I'm sure there's an easier way to do this. Just new scan it. Do another move. Uh, we'll go here. So now it's at 18. Zero found. Now we go on to the next process. Which is way up here. New scan. Make another move. Uh, let's see. We'll do these. Because that's actually a good move. 17. Still haven't found it. Firefox has a lot of base processes. So we're going to new scan. We need here is what I'm going to do. 16. Ooh, we might be in the right process. And this is also easiest if you only have like one tab open and one window. Because the more windows and tabs you have open, the more processes there are. But now we're going to set this to 98. And as you can see, 97 moves. I'm going to beat this guy no matter what I do. <laughs> so... I also recommend if you are doing this with the Bejeweled game, turn your audio down because it gets loud once the end of the level comes up and you're able to like, uh, you know, it goes through and does everything. But we're going to finish off this Bejeweled game here real quick. Uh, just get ourselves, you know, ahead of the guy and I'll show you what the end of a game looks like because it's actually pretty pretty explosive so we're gonna go and obviously you can do higher than 99 moves that's just what i did uh for the video but we're gonna go here we need to basically get to 15 or 147 is what i kind of want to just get to so we're gonna move a little bit more here this shouldn't take too long and then i'll show you a different game because you can do this on pretty much all the games. Now, this is where it gets pretty funny when you have this many moves because it's client-sided. You're just basically trying to beat some random dude on YouTube's uh, best score. And there we go. So now I have, you know, the highest of high scores. There we go. Now, you might be wondering, okay, what about the coins? Can I search the coins? Yeah. So you have 230. New scan, first scan, we can go play. And then you just want to play until you hopefully beat their score. And as you can see, the score runner is right here. So we're just going to set it to like 30. It saves it. The process doesn't change until you change games. How did this person get 43,000? I Maybe these are bots. I don't know. I don't work for YouTube. I'm just here hacking... What might as well be a mobile game. Wow, there are like no moves here. This is terrible. All right, I'm going to go through this and just beat this person real quick. By the way, I'm entirely convinced this is a just random number generator for a score you have to beat. There is no shot 
somebody on this exact same board without just farming power-ups got 43,101 points. No shot in hell. It, it <laughs> I've been here. I had to change my move set. I've done over 50 moves. <laughs> There's no way. Absolutely no way. Now I don't feel bad for cheating. I also have now realized you can probably just hack your score. I feel like an idiot. So my last move here could be pretty much at any moment, so I figured it doesn't hurt to just sit here and see what happens with 900 moves. This should be fun at the end of the day here, to see what the game decides to do. Oh god, where's a move? Oh, duh, right here. Sick. Ooh, yeah, there we go. So we're almost at our final moves here. Oh, come on, click, you stupid... There we go, we're at 41. Um, I'll do this green, this blue, because it's also going to do that yellow. And there we go. Let's see what happens with 954 moves. This should be funny. Oh, it's just destroying everything. Huh, it just defaults to whatever this is. Oh, God, I hope this is some wild freaking score. I really do. Um, You know, I should probably speed hack this. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know what speed hack is on Cheat Engine. There we go. <laughs> it's basically speed up. <laughs> we can go 10. There we go. And then I'll just disable it here. So it put us up to 53,000 points. Sometimes if you do too high of a move set, it'll just freeze on this screen and you can't do anything. You just have to refresh the page. Unfortunate, but it's a thing. So let's see if we can hack the score. I'm going to refresh real quick and refine the process. All right, I found the process and already did my first scan for the score. I think this was going to be, I, I yeah, this was easy. So if I just do this, and then we go 69 million. There we go. Yep, maximum score. Yep, that was simple. Let's see what this does and see if it actually submits it, because that'll be interesting. Mission success. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, score. Ed, this game is extremely hackable. All right, I think we get the gist of things that this Bejeweled is extremely hackable. I think I'm going to just do this as multiple videos. I was going to do just like one video showing every game that's hackable and all that. I don't think any of these are actually multiplayer with other YouTubers or something like that. I really wish they were because that would be really cool. Maybe that'll be a future thing. But for right now, go have fun learning the basics of Cheat Engine using Bejeweled, I guess. Peace out, guys.